ஹாய் எவ்ரிவன் வெல்கம் டு கேடியூ இசி லெட்டர்ஸ் டுடே மை வீடியோ இஸ் அபவுட் டிஃபைனிங் ஏ டாஸ்க் செட் ஃபார் சாஃப்ட்வேர் ப்ராஜெக்ட் டிஃபைனிங் ஏ டாஸ்க் செட் ஃபார் சாஃப்ட்வேர் ப்ராஜெக்ட் ஸோ வி ஷுட் லுக் அபவுட் வாட் இஸ் எ டாஸ்க் செட் ஸோ an effective software process should define a collection of task set so a software process consists of a collection of task set what do you mean by a task set a task set is a collection of software engineering work task related work products quality assurance points project milestones this should be accomplished to complete a particular project defining a task set for software project A task set must provide enough discipline to achieve high software quality. It must not burden the project team with unnecessary work. To develop a project schedule, a task set must be distributed on the project timeline. The task set will vary depending upon the project type and the degree of rigor with which the software team decided to its work. so a task set will depend upon project type and the degree to which the software team decides to do the work there are different types of software projects first is concept development projects what do you mean by concept development projects the projects that are initiated to explore some new business concepts or application of some new technology next is new application development projects here the projects that are undertaken as a consequence of a specific customer request if a particular customer request they need a specific software it will comes under new application development project then another type is application enhancement projects projects that occur when existing software undergoes major modification to function performance interfaces that are observable by the end user then next is application maintenance projects projects that correct adapt or extend existing software in ways that no, may not be immediately obvious to the end user next is reengineering projects projects that are undertaken with the intent of rebuilding an existing system in whole or in part there are different factors that influence the task set one is size of the project the number of potential uses mission criticality application longevity stability of requirements ease of customer developer communication maturity of applicable technology performance constraints embedded and non embedded characteristics project staff reengineering factors these factors provide an indication of the degree of rigor which, with which the software process should be applied so next i am going to tell about what is a task set example consider a task associated with the concept development software concept development projects are approached by applying the following major task concept scoping it means it determines the overall scope of the project then is preliminary concept planning it establishes the organization's ability to undertake the work implied by the project scope this is technology risk assessment evaluate the risk associated with the technology to be implemented as part of the project scope and there is proof of concept it demonstrates the viability of a new technology in the software context this is concept implementation implements the concept representation in a manner that can be reviewed by a customer it is used by for marketing purpose when a concept must be sold or other customers or management next is customer reaction reaction to the concept solicits feedback on a new technology concept targets specific customer applications there are refi- refinement of major task the major task described in the preceding section may be used to define a macroscopic schedule for a project 
However, the macroscopic schedule must be refined to create a detailed project schedule. Refinement begins by taking each major task and decomposing it into a set of subtasks. This is an example of concept scoping. We, are, we can see a task definition, the other concept scoping. Then we have to identify need, benefits, and potential customers. And then we, we divide it into define, desire, uh, output control, and input events. Then uh, it is again divided into different. Then define the functionality behavior for each major function. Then isolate. Uh, these statements as the technology to be implemented in software, research availability of existing software, then define technical feasibility, make quick estimate of size, and create a scope definition. So, this is all about this video. I will come with the next video. Till then, bye.